In this video, we will review the condition Barrett's esophagus with a focus on recent advances in endoscopic resection of early cancer. Barrett's esophagus is a precancerous condition of the esophagus that is caused by chronic gastroesophageal reflux disease, or heartburn. It is detected by upper endoscopy and biopsy. When high-grade dysplasia or early cancer is found, there are new options for non-surgical treatment which include advanced imaging to localize early cancer and high-grade dysplasia, endoscopic resection of visible tumors and nodules, and endoscopic ablation of the remaining Barrett's to restore the normal lining of the esophagus. Barrett's esophagus occurs when acid and other contents of the stomach reflux and damage the lower esophagus. This is then replaced by short or long segments of a columnar-type cell which can progress to various stages of dysplasia in some individuals. These precancerous stages are classified as low-grade dysplasia or high-grade dysplasia and are characterized by increasingly enlarged nuclei in the cells. When we can see this dysplasia with advanced imaging technologies, we can now remove these areas of high-grade dysplasia using techniques shown here called endoscopic mucosal resection. The abnormal areas are suctioned into a cap on the end of the scope, and an elastic band is deployed at the base, and then this tissue is then removed with a wire loop snare. Here an endoscopic view is shown, showing early dysplasia in the right-hand side of the screen. It's characterized by a more red and irregular surface pattern shown in the 3 o'clock position. This area is somewhat broad and may require multiple areas of adjacent resections to completely remove. Here the first resection is shown. The abnormal tissue is suctioned into the cap. A elastic band is deployed to create a pseudo polyp, and then this tissue is resected with the wire loop snare. We can then perform adjacent resections to enlarge the area of resected tissue. Here, multiple areas have been resected in a so-called rosette-type pattern. Here we resect the final abnormal area at the top edge of the lesion to ensure that all abnormal tissue is completely removed. It's important that we carefully inspect the margins to ensure complete removal. Here the entire area of the right-hand side of the screen has been safely and effectively removed. Patients who wish to refer themselves or physicians who wish to refer their patients to Mayo Clinic in Florida can contact us at the phone number or website seen below. Thank you.